The switch button works with the switch lever to turn your tool on and off. The button is attached to the lever and is the part you press against when you turn the tool on or off. Over time, the switch button can wear. This can make it so you can't turn the tool on or so it won't stay locked on. Replacing the switch button is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear motor housing from the grinder. Now remove the switch button. I'll push the switch lever forward towards the gear housing. And then to remove the button, I'll push it back. And now I can pull it away from the tool. Now I can install the new switch button. To install the button, I'll again push the lever all the way forward, align the button with the opening in the lever, and then push it towards the gearbox. You may have to try a couple of times. When it's properly aligned, it'll snap into place. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the rear motor housing. And that's how easy it is to install a new switch button on your grinder. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.